Kinesthetic learners benefit from lessons that engage their whole bodies. Using real data derived from student subjects allows these students to actively participate in the lesson, both physically and mentally. Watch the way Ms. Austin uses real data to allow her students to play a part in their own discoveries. After explaining that the class will work with some of its own sports statistics, Betsy takes her students outside where they record data from various runners in their class. While some students run, others keep track of their times. Okay. Now, yes. good. Here's no, no, no. Three, four, His was seven, exactly three, four, six seconds, but he knew to put the two zeros in, otherwise we'll think he's rounded to the wrong spot. Good job, Sean. Back in the classroom, Betsy explains to her students that rate is the ratio of distance to time. She has them compute the rates of the runners. She helps individual students as they calculate the rates for each runner. So what did you forget right here? Good job, good job. Okay, anybody stop. Like everything else in math, you need to show your work. Okay, you need to show your work. Right, good. Finally. Betsy demonstrates how to solve for each of the variables in the rate formula. She demonstrates how this process can simplify problems. Only using variables. I'm going to go down for the next step. So distance equals rate times time. I know that means times. So if you're finding rate in the future, you can just do this, which is a little bit quicker. You're doing exactly the same thing, but you save a step. 